anyways. And I mean, it, it's almost like having, at, at the end of the day, Sheriff Ozzy Nezevich should bring in Snopes to investigate their uh, the, the crimes they have in Spokane. Because, I mean, that's how out of this world this guy is. Well, I'm sure Alex is cowering in fear and totally uh, unwilling to debate him, right? I'm pretty sure it's been opened up before. I think he had the ability to uh, contact the producers of the show. Yeah, he... Uh, he backed out before. I mean, uh, he's wrote me on or written me on uh, Facebook as well. The entire Spokane Sheriff's Department has written me as well, saying that uh, they're they're not afraid that anytime they're willing to uh, debate Alex and the Infowars crew. And you know, I, I just see it being another. He's going to tuck his tail and run and come up with an excuse, and then you know, call us uh, constitutionalists and compare us to ISIS again. Interesting. Well, let's we'll see how that pans out. Maybe Joe, you can uh, go hang out with that loving man. Let's, yeah. let's talk to Richard from Missouri. He wants to talk about economic news. What's going on, Richard? Hey, my question is, is that, you know, I believe wholeheartedly in uh, owning uh, currency in the form of uh, gold and silver. There's companies out there that offer 401k rollovers and IRAs in which that they hold precious metal at a depository. Um, and I'm, I'm sure there's, there's numerous countries or a company, companies around the country that offer this. Um, what's your thoughts on, on rolling your 401k over into uh, gold or silver that's held in, in one of these depositories? That, uh, uh, what's your thoughts on something like that? So I could give you the perspective based on the economic experts that I've spoken to. And personally, I hold physical gold and silver. But the perspective of this is dependent upon how much of a preparedness, you know, lens you want to look through. I mean, specifically, you're buying essentially paper slips that guarantee you to a certain amount of gold and silver in a vault somewhere in the known universe. So in a theoretical complete collapse scenario, that piece of paper is not exactly going to get you very far, right? Yeah, exactly. Also, you also have a 401k system that's built in to last at least, you know, several years before you turn that age. Now, from a balanced perspective, if you're thinking that the economy obviously, you know, is, is not going to completely turn over and it's not going to go out within the next several years. And you're at a certain age to where you can cash out on your 401k. It's probably better than holding phys uh, non-physical cash, holding digits into space. At least a piece of paper guaranteeing you gold and silver. Would I invest be, in guns and ammo. Yeah, I'm personally a physical investor as well, but there's numerous ways to look at it. I'm Anthony Gucciardi with Joe Biggs filling in for Alex Jones in this final hour. We'll be back with the last segment covering some key news. Stay tuned. It, it will be worth it. Welcome back to the Alex Jones Show. In this final segment, we're going to take some more calls, talk about the new breaking news that has come out, and overall get into some key topics. So let's go right into it. Let's start talking to Richard in Tennessee. He wants to talk about defunding and some different things about Target. What's going on, Richard? Yeah, I was uh, actually mentioning where you guys busted LE Targets, the same website, uh, usaspending.gov. It shows on there. If you search um, uh, air, uh, stratospheric aerosols, a litany of universities and private corporations come up where they're uh, doing different tests. And I just thought that was would be some good news to, to maybe uh, get out there because, you know, they always say that chemtrails aren't real, but here you go, stratospheric aerosols. So what do you make of that? So there's, there's – I, I believe that uh, – it's definitely going on. Absolutely. What do you think, and Joe? Well, ask, chemtrails, uh, I definitely want to hear your question. The chemtrails to me is definitely, it's, it has been pushed to the seedy underbelly of the alternative news world, hasn't it? Yeah. It really has been pushed to the seedy underbelly. And there's a lot of information out there. There really is. There's a lot of information. There's a lot of disinformation. There is a lot to merit research. There's a lot to merit the seedy underbelly. It's funny though. As soon as you bring it up, everyone's like, "Whoa, you're crazy!" Look, you you know. just went there. Oh yeah, my god! Like, there. It's definitely, it's definitely been pushed. It's like bringing up uh, religion or politics at a bar. Yes, it's, <laughs> it's it's been pushed to the sea underbelly. But what, what were you going to say, Richard? Well, I, I live outside of Oak Ridge, and I've seen this uh, in Southwest uh, Virginia as well. But I see uh, some drones quite a bit. Uh, white aircraft that just move very slowly. Some without wings. You guys ever see anything like this? I have not seen anything like that. That's that a negative here. Interesting. You should take a video of it and put it on YouTube. All right, let's go to Brent real quick. We're going to wrap up the show here. Brent, what's going on? Hey, guys. Thanks for taking my call, and I appreciate listening to your excellent investigative journalism. 
I uh, just wanted to call today to say that I stumbled across a news article. I believe it was from the Wall Street Journal or Forbes, but basically it just says that on October the 21st, 2015, the IMF is scheduled uh, to announce a currency uh, change, basically, that is set to move hundreds of billions of dollars overnight. And I just wanted to let you guys know about that and if it interests you, you can look into it. That is interesting. I'm definitely going to have to look at look that up. And it seems like it's almost like the major banking institutions and world currency institutions are feeding into the idea that something crazy is going to happen in October just because they're making so many actions. They're doing so many weird things in September and October. And once again, I'm not sitting here saying anything is going to happen. It is interesting, though, that all of these movements are happening at one time, pushing together. Joe Biggs, your take on this? I mean, yeah, I, I agree with what you just said. I mean, the, that their actions alone are going to spark people's the, yeah. the, the reactions on the opposite end as well. Like, all right, they're doing they're this. They're begging so, for it. So that means something's happening. That means something's happening. And that sends everybody into a panic. At the end of the day, do I know what's going to happen? No. But like I said before to the last caller, I'm going to be prepared. I've got my guns. I'm ready to go. You know? Yeah. You need I'm, to get everything in order anyway, which is the key thing. And in closing... Everyone, thank you for watching The Alex Jones Show. I have filled in as a sub-wing commander for Alex Jones. I would encourage all of you to check out the InfoWarsStore.com to support the show, support Alex, what he does. He needs the funding. He is launching many, many surprising, amazing new things in the coming months that he will announce. And it is your support that makes it all possible. Thank you so much for tuning in. And as always, uh, the nightly news is coming up tonight. What is going to be going on in the nightly news, Joe? Uh, Lee Ann's going to be hosting, and I think she's going to have myself and maybe a couple other of us on there and talk about some important talk topics that she has uh, wrapped up. So we'll see what happens. Excellent. Thanks so much for watching. Appreciate you guys. Infowarsstore.com, infowars.com.